everyone, today we thought we would show you how to make some cheerleader style pom-poms so that you can use them to dance with um, on, for your Little Lights online classes. The first lot we'll make, we'll make from tissue paper so they'll be very pretty, but then we'll also make another set out of plastic shopping bags which I'm sure everybody has a lot of at the moment. Um, you could also use newspaper, um, those disposable plastic tablecloths, um, there's lots of things you could make them out of, but we'll get started with the tissue paper. We've got two colours here and we've got six sheets of each. So since we're making two pom-poms, I'm going to split this into, uh, into two groups of three. One. Oh, they're tricky to separate. <laughs> Fold up, we would be using this when we make, we will be using this when we make the second one, but we don't need it right now. Also, we bought this um, big pack of coloured tissue paper from Officeworks, so um, that will come in handy for lots of our craft, craft projects while we're all stuck at home. We're going to make ours have two colours in them, so I've got some lilac. Can you fold that in there? So we've got three sheets of lilac and three sheets of the dark purple. We're going to lay them on top of each other and then fold them back up like that. So they're all folded, just following the crease marks. They're all... Now, this is the corner that's got the cut edges. We want this long edge here to stay folded like that. And this edge that has two other folds, I'm going to trim that off. So where are my scissors? We'll trim that off. So those little folds there are going to get snipped off. All the way off. Like that. So that's gone. We want this. We want this fold here because that's going to hold it all together. Now, along this edge, this cut edge along here, we're going to cut up in probably about two centimeter. I'll just do it by eye, but you could mark them. Two centimeter strips up to about here, so maybe two thirds of the way up. Okay. Let's do it. So we go up. See if you can see, I'll hold it like that, you might be able to see better. So we're going to cut up to about there. If you're being a bit more pedantic, you could rule out mark every two centimeters. You could also rule a line of where you want to cut to. But I like to fly by the seat of my pants, so we'll see how this turns out. But you can see we've still got our fold up like here. A it looks like a hula skirt, doesn't it? Hula hula. Mm -hmm. And now the fun bit. So we're going to start at one end. Wait. Oh. It looks like a wig. <laughs> yeah, it could be. It could be like it's like a wig. There was one on the other. So oh, this way. Yeah. Like that. There we go. Sylvie cleverly has said it looks like a wig. All right, so we're rolling from one end all the way, put it light up flat, to the other end. You just want to make sure that this doesn't happen when that one's got tucked up. So I'll go back a little bit. We just want all of the little bits that have been cut to go straight down. Yes. And we roll it up. Roll it up. And this bit that we're rolling is going to be the handle to hold on to. So that's why I have to roll it. So that's why like it to be fairly tight. <laughs> and then we're going to make it so I'm sort of squishing it down to make the last part really tight. So how are we going to pop it like up? I'll show you. You guys are going to do that part. Mm -hmm. We need something to secure around the handle. So we're going to use a bit of washi tape, which is Japanese tape. Um, you could use sticky tape, electrical tape, even rubber bands would work or hair elastics. Yeah. But we're just going to tape. Or maybe a scrunchie. Yeah, maybe a scrunchie. And I'm just going to wrap it round. Around. And around. And round. Just and then I'll snip the tape. So we've made a little handle. And now this part is a little yeah. bit fun. I'll leave I'll leave Lulu to start doing this. So she pull down all of the little bits of tissue paper one. Oops. 
one by one. That one got a little bit torn. That's so okay. you're going to keep going around the edge and pull them all down. Can you do that? Okay. Till they're all hanging down. But Just I can't one at a time. It. Just the other way to make one, I thought maybe, I haven't actually tried this yet, so we'll see how it goes. But we have a lot of these bags at home now that we can't get our groceries delivered without packaging. So we thought we might try and make our cheerleader pom pom out of some woolly bags. <laughs> So, firstly fold it flat like that, and then we're just going to cut just these sides off here where the fold is. Thank you, Sylvie. So I'll just show you, I'm just cutting along here. To cut halfway between where it says Woolies here, and then we're going to just cut straight across there. Just straight across. Oops. All the way across. Like that. Okay, now I have. Together there'll be, I've cut these ones already, but we'll have five. Um, so we've got five of those laid out nice and flat on top of each other. And then you need something to hold this end, this end together while we cut our strips. So I'm going to use some bulldog clips. Oh. Um, you could just use pegs would be fine as well. Okay. Let's see. This one on. And then we're doing exactly the same thing. So we're going to cut two centimeter strips all the way down, leaving just enough for the handle uncut. Mm -hmm. you see our little hula hula skirt here, like that? No, no, a little wig. A little wig. Okay, so now I'm going to lay it out and take the clips off. And then Rolling again from one end. Oh, you push Rolling it up nice and tightly. Next one we might use a bit of black electrical tape. I'll try and get it really tight, tightly wrapped around. So I'll tighten it around. And then I'm twisting this around. Actually, it doesn't really need to be pulled apart because Sylvie could give it a big shake and I think it'll loosen up all of these bits. Give it a big shake. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, so now we've finished making our cheerleader pom-poms. I actually do have a few more tips. So we made a second one out of the tissue paper and we found that it was a lot, works a lot better if we only used a total of five big sheets of tissue paper. So this one ended up having a lot more in it and it made it really hard to sort of separate and pull down the pieces. But this one that only had five big sheets and then they were folded and cut. Actually it was a lot easier, we didn't have to spend ages pulling all the bits down. It just sort of separated like that. Um, and I cut the strips a little bit thinner. So they're probably about one and a half centimetres, those ones. Yeah. So, um, to just to finish up, this <laughs> one was five big sheets of tissue paper and then we folded them like we showed you and we cut them and then pop the tape on. And then this one was five Woolworths shopping bags. It actually is really effective. Little light. Little light. Bye.